Hi, this is Anaya. Welcome to the channel. Let us first thank the Most High for this time is grace, kindness, and mercy. Today's message is about the October 14, 2023 annular eclipse, which makes an X in Texas with the April 8, 2024 solar eclipse. And that is also going to be another X in Illinois. But this October 14th eclipse will be on our new moon. And these three eclipses make the Aleph and Tau sign from the Phoenician alphabet. The beginning and the end, or the first and the last letters. And we know Hebrews wrote from right to left, so that will begin at the top right, ending at the bottom left. And Tau has a numerical value of 400 which kind of reminded me of the 400 years of bondage. Isaiah 41.4 Who has performed this and carried it out, calling forth the generations from the beginning? I the Most High, the first and the last, I am He. Second Ezra 6.9 For Esau is the end of this age, and Jacob is the beginning of the age that follows. So I thought of that because of the beginning and the end. And this eclipse here is going to be close to a place called Vanderpool in Texas. And Vanderpool is close to a place called A Piece of Heaven, Law Cabins, and also Hacienda del Sol Cabins. So I decided to look up that Vanderpool or Vander. And Vander is a boy's name of Greek origin, a shortened version of Evander, meaning good man. And Vander Walls Forces is something that I found when I was looking up Vander. And I've never heard of it before. But it means relatively weak, attractive forces that act on neutral atoms and molecules and that arise because of the electric polarization. Electric polarization refers to the separation of the center of positive charge and the center of negative charge in a material. The separation be can be caused by a sufficiently high electric field. So, when it was talking about the separation of positive and negative, I kind of thought about the negative being separated from us, the true seeds. In graphite, van der Waals forces act between the carbon layers. And we know that the human body is comprised of carbon. It's approximately 99% of just six elements. Oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, calcium, and phosphorus. Every part of your body is made of, of chains of carbon atoms, which is why we are known as carbon-based life forms. A carbon atom has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. And that kind of made me think of Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. So I just added this because I found this information when I was watching a video from Old World Florida's channel. They were speaking about the Texas solar eclipse and how a lot of things are kind of rhyming with Texas or tech. I don't know. Anyways, he brought up how Elon Musk's daughter or son's name is Techno Mechanicus. And I just had to look up that definition. Techno is a style of fast, heavy electronic da dance music, typically with few or no vocals. And mechanical energy is the energy associated with the motion and position of an object. For example, a moving vehicle possesses mechanical energy. So, I just thought of that whenever I was thinking about these Van der Waal forces that could be possibly associated with Vanderpool. So, just below Vanderpool, there's a place called Utopia. And I had to look up the definition for that. It's a noun and it's an imagined place or state of things in which everything is perfect. 
and the key word is imagined place. So this piece of heaven, log cabins, is close to that along with Hacienda del Sol cabins. And Hacienda del Sol means plantation of the sun. So I decided to look up these numbers on the highway markers 187 and 337. 337 means alas in Hebrew and it's a verse that goes with that is Ecclesiastes 410. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. And 337 in the Greek means, I take up, take away the life of, make an end of, or murder. And the verse that goes with that is Matthew 2.16. This is speaking about the New Testament. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. 187 in the Hebrew means a son of Joktan, also his descendants, also a place of uncertain location. And the verse that goes with that is Genesis 10:27, but I'll also read 31. And Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, these are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. And 187 in the Greek means to be at the prime. Revelation 14, 18 is the verse that goes with that. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. So these were just a lot of correlations and connections that I had thought were relevant. And this is just a reading from the Britain Septuagint a translation of Jeremiah 31, speaking about being gathered at Passover. Behold, I bring them from the north, and will gather them from the end of the earth to the feast of the Passover. And the people shall beget a great multitude, and they shall return hither. So, the solar eclipse of 2024 will be on April 8th, and the Passover will be on the 22nd, on the 14th. So, these are just a few correlations. I'll be making another video about the 2024 eclipse and how it could possibly relate to our 400 years, most high willing. So that will be all for now. I thank you for listening. May the most high forgive, heal, guide, and protect the true seeds, the true in faith, and all of our loved ones. May there be truth, peace, happiness, health, and deliverance in his most high glory and honor we plead. All glory and honor to the Most High alone. Thank you.